morning. It's a bit wet and miserable this morning, but we're going to be on with vaccinating some cattle. Um, and probably doing a few inside jobs if it stops like this, because it's not too nice. What these two think anyway, hiding in this little bit that's got a tiny bit more shelter than the rest of the field. Look at this, the water on the backs. Hey? I'm sorry, I'm pressing it in, aren't I? I'm being, I'm being nasty. Fantastic weather though for getting that grass to grow that we um, that we put in the other day. Come on, that way. Um, if you do like this sort of thing, tractors and cattle and farming in general, then um, please do press like and subscribe if you've watched a few videos and you, you like this sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it, basically doing that sends it out to more people. There's maybe people out there that maybe a tiny bit interested in farming might get watching some more farming videos and see what yeah British agriculture is all about coming out in the rain and getting wet to feed our animals they won't be spending too much time in the rain so we'll get in a tractor somewhere but um, I've got to do the uh, Tetris and move a few things out so we can get what we need out okay, Andy doing his oh someone's beeping at me Andy doing his fancy cleaning of this We've got an undefined error code on this uh, on this base. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, we're cleaning it yesterday, weren't it? We? But he's missed a bit. Right, we'll get the mixer back into the clamp. We need to get one started. So this is our feed mixer. It's got two spirals inside it that smash up the hay, the silage, um, the barley, the Trafford gold that we've got there, and make a nice mixed ration. So it's just a massive food blender, basically. So we've got Andy here this morning, he's just got here. Um, I'm here a little bit early because I've been on site because mum and dad weren't here last night. Um, and we've always got to have somebody on the farm to, uh, just to, just in a case of an emergency really. Make sure everything's right. One, make sure the cattle are good. Two, make sure nobody's snooping about. Always got somebody here some silage in i've just fetched with the tm bruised um a bit of straw because we need to put that in the mix right we've moved the mixer down the yard to make things a little bit easier we're gonna load the barley into it we've already done the molasses i walk back in all this rain to the tm but andy's down there and connor just putting out the straw everywhere's getting fed It looks like Andy's strawed the left hand side up. This right hand side still needs doing. It is a bit miserable. I wonder what it's like over in Ireland at the Irish plowing match today. I think if it's wet here, then it's like torrential in it in Ireland. I don't know. Let me know if anybody's been today. Let me know in the comments below. It's coffee time. No, not for you guys. Coffee time over. We are gonna vaccinate worm and fluke some of the cattle that we've got um that have been on for a few days and then probably some of them that i fetched yesterday just were a bit restricted on the amount of vaccine we've got at the minute um i need to order some more or i think we i'm trying to find out basically if we've got some on the way or if i need to order some um and then we can get everything done he's on doing haircuts but he leaves big lumps of hair it's side birds, Joe. Side birds. <laughs> <laughs> we're just clipping um Got my, my hairdressing scissors. I got off Amazon the other day. I just cut the hair away from the rear tag. You can read it nicely, hopefully, for a couple of months. It's no wonder, really, that you're not very good hairdresser, innit, Andy? <laughs> so Connor's been hairdresser with the clippers. This is the fluke that goes in, um, kills a parasite that attacks the liver. And then Connor will be putting a wormer on the back, which is an intestinal wormer. But we have to clip it first because there's no point putting a wormer on the back and then clipping it off. Sandy, I've just been weighing ourselves on the crush. Identical, the weight. Identical. And then Andy says, I said, no wonder. I said, you sit lower on the seats. Remember on the tractors, I've been saying it a lot. Because I've got longer legs. Well, just measured our knees. And I reckon, I reckon Andy's got... A longer bottom part of leg than me. 
Jesus, Andy. Come on, Joe. You must be waiting, haven't you? Gonna jump on as well. Big boy. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Come on, Joe. 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 Come on, Joe.
just blow it all out because when we're planting wheat or barley, barley next, um, we don't want grass in it as well. So you get that blown off. So we'll use the airline, get most of it off. I'll get a leaf blower out as well. Give it a blast with that. Just going around with the grass seed and putting it out. What we've uh, spilt on the floor. So now we'll get a bit more volume on the air and use the uh, leaf blower. We can build up. Remember the other day I said we got a quiz question and it was uh, um, Al Moncton tractors, is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, well, it was a stand to put the um, rear mower on but folded up. So it took up like no space at all and I'm thinking that is a good idea. Today we're asking about the a quiz, quiz question and saying what was this stand holding up? Well it's holding the mower up and you can actually pull it around the yard if there's a couple of you. So it's on little caster wheels, put it into the corner of the shed. Happy days. I like that. Okay I'm just putting these on, we'll get them in the shed so they're kept dry and in good condition. Well, it's so expensive to leave outside in the weather and sunshine. Let's get them nice and dry. So, front mower we're on, we're going to put this. I ain't got any balls for the back one, so we'll uh, we'll get this in first and sort the other one out in a minute. Right, so we got that dropped off. Stolen the balls off for that one. To put on the old mower and get that put somewhere here, I think. Plans that should be coming into fruition soonish for this shed here um, and I, <laughs> I hope the plans don't mean we've got more work out but if, if it does it does at least we'll have kept it dry for an amount of time and there's a way there putting those hedges back Ben's just moving some of the stuff that we have up to the hedge so they can make a tidy job and then I'm in trouble here because the arms are wider than um, where I'd want them to be and he bent to push him in uh, you can adjust them but it's going to take forever anyway Andy's getting on with that job as you can see we've pulled the relics away from the hedge so that he can do a tidy cut along there well done Andy you could do with one of them springs that like attaches to it and just pulls it together that'd be better That'd be a lot better. Get to put away back in the shed. Uh, Con's just going to put the last of the bales that were in the big stack in the yard. There was nine left, I think. Going to put them out. We'll use them up tomorrow and then fetch some more down here. Now just going to have a load of seed corn delivered. So we're just getting bags ready because it's coming in a, um, a high tip trailer, which is going to make it easy for us. We're going to put the pallet tines under, drop it into bags. Then we're going to weigh it on the weigh bridge, write the weight on the bag um, and the variety and then fingers crossed i'll be able to work out that i'm putting the right amount of seed on when uh, when we're in the field and here it is so the plan is here we put it on the palatines we go under the trailer and then we put the bar the wheat in the wheat in and then you um Wait on the way bridge, right on. Jobs are good. And ben gets confused because there's two hatches, but there's only one handle, Ben, so we go through the middle one. It don't spill it. Uh, Ralph should know when we get to 500 kilos. <laughs> Hell, these boys, 400 kilos in it, it's light. Definitely 500 in there. We're trying lifting it higher this time because the bag was on the floor. Fetch it over here. We lower it onto the bridge. 520 in that one. I've got to say, this wheat's called Dawson. I suppose it's awesome. That's what I've been told. Whether it is or not, I don't know. What do people think? Have you grown it before? Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Does it do well? Boost. Boost. Well, that's it. We're done. Just as the rain came, that's what 
come on the camera lens then, or it's come on again, hasn't it? Um, yeah, so perfect timing that. He's a beast. That's looking at this what are these springs on that that ram there for can't work it out but i know somebody will know so now we are doing a bit of feeding up uh, ben's been fixing water troughs and then we're gonna have to have a mix because we're about to run out it's windy today andy's back in the yard he's just been at the side of the farm ben's just getting the last the feed nook done on the TM. No, we're not fed anything round back. Nothing. Oh, that is everything tucked away nicely in the shed. Bez nurse. And that is it from us. Um, Connor's off. Andy's gone already. He's going to Cosmo to eat his body weight in um, Chinese. I'm gonna message him actually. Send you some photos. Send you some photos. Of every plate. Of every plate he has? Yeah. Calorie count. It'd be like an Instagram. It'd be like a proper Instagram if he takes photos of his school, wouldn't it? Yeah. He ought to put them on a TikTok. Um, anyway, if you liked today's, remember to press like. Subscribe if you're not already. Check out the merchandise. All for sale on joeseals.com. It's also good. Yeah, Ben's stolen some of my shorts from the garage. Well, well they are when you steal them. But um, yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.